It's not gonna fucking record. There we go. Okay. For those that don't know who I am, my name is J Rod. I'm 18. Um, born and raised in Charlotte. And I'm a hardcore gamer, as you could probably tell by my face. I look like I just met the wrong side of a wood chipper. I've always been saying this because it's true. Even though my mom's like, oh, you're not ugly. No, I am. Trust me. Anyway, Tom Dog uh, was one of my favorite reviewers on YouTube. He ranks right up there with our with uh, Armex Twenty One, aka Nicotine Alien, aka Boxed Entertainment. He has been my one of my he's one of my favorite game reviewers. I came across him. Uh, when I was searching for Big Rigs Over the Road Racing Reviews, I found his review, I think after I was watching Armac 21's review, and then I saw Tom Dog's review. He went into depth on it. It was a very good review. I just got through watching Tom Dog's um, commentary on Classic Game Room, which was something I wanted to see because I never really liked him to begin with. Because of his monotone voice. And the fact that in his Gran Turismo 4 review, all he really did was talk about what the tr like how the track or the tracks were or whatever. And in his Gran Turismo 5 review, I think in part three, yes, I have watched classic game reviews game rooms reviews. I never subbed to him. I just wanted to see something like on the Gran Turismo series. He just had an absolute, just horrible, like, it was, he was bagging on the online play so hardcore, he had a whole part of it, part three, where he was like, this difficulty setting, like, the starting difficulty setting, rewards you for driving like a complete a-hole, or whatever. I don't, I don't know, you want to, if you want to see it, go right ahead, I don't personally care, but Tom Dog basically bagged on, or not bagged, but yeah, bagged, deservedly, on Classic Game Room, and rightfully so, because Classic Game Room, crap reviewer. One of the worst ever. So, Tom Dog, you get major props in my book, and that's mainly why I'm doing this as sort of a response for Ask Tom Dog 8, because you said that you could not compare NFS, Forza, and Gran Turismo, because you had barely played NFS and Gran Turismo and you hadn't played Forza. I'm not trying to get on you and saying you need to play these games. I'm going to, to demand you blah, 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 blah. I'm not that kind of person. I'm just, in order to sort of sort of give my comparison of it and maybe sort of take the burden off of you in the future if you ever do decide to play those games, which again, I'm not trying to force you to play them. It's your choice if you want to. I'm gonna review. I'm gonna compare the games myself, and also bring up a couple other racing franchises that I've played because I've played a ton of racing games. Heck, I've even got Rigs Over the Road Racing because I wanted to play that to see just how bad it was. It is as bad as it as everybody says it is. You don't even need to tell. You don't even need to play it. Know that. I've also played Tracksters, which is wow for cars, whatever. And I have NASCAR Racing 2003 season. As well as Need for Speed Most Wanted on my PC. Now I do admit that those are two different games. But, you know, I'm just saying I've got a bunch of racing games. That's one of my main genres. Before I played Guitar Hero, that was my main genre, along with sports games. My main genre was racing games. I just loved racing games. I still do. I have Gran Turismo for the PSP. It's back in my PSP, ready to boot up. In fact, I play that game just for kicks to do drive, drive laps around and the track around and all the cars I've unlocked just to get times and just to have fun. But anyways, enough about that. Let's start with Most Wanted. Now, or not Most Wanted, just Need for Speed in general. Need for Speed, up till shift, is strict arcade. That's basically been what it's, that's basically been what the series has been about. It's been an arcade series. It's been an arcade series from the word go, and <clears throat> excuse me, I really love the series. I've been a big fan of it since it came out. Obviously, I've been a big fan of the game, and let me put this down here real quick. It's, you know, I've, I don't know exactly how I can put it. Really, it's, 
as I'm trying to organize my cards here, I know I should be doing this live, and now I have to scratch my nose. It's most want or Need for Speed has been about the arcade, and it's super fun. I mean, the drifting, it's not overly arcadey like Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer is strict, strict, strict arcade. This is mainly arcade. But the drifting physics aren't like every time you slide into a turn, even if it's, you know, it's not even, you know, sharp. You know, it, it doesn't, you know, it's not like every time, you know, it's, I'm not trying to like bash Ridge Racer or anything. I'm just saying it's not a complete arcade game, but it's, it's it's pretty much an arcade game, but it's not overly arcadey like some games are. And in that respect, you can't really compare it to Forza and GT. Now, Gran Turismo, that's strict sim. Nothing else needs to be said. It's strict sim. It's the ultimate driving simulator. That's the that's what it's been named by the company that made the game themselves. They made the game. They said it's the Ultimate Driving Simulator, and it is. I played Gran Turismo 3 A spec. I own Gran Turismo 2 for the PS1, and I have Gran Turismo 4 for the PS2, and for the Gran Turismo for the PSP. And I've played the games, and it's a strict sim. So you can't compare it to Need for Speed. Yet you can't really compare Need for Speed to Forza, because Forza is sort of in the middle of the two games. Forza is an arcade racer with sim-style attributes. The handling is perfectly dialed in Forza. Specifically in Forza 3. I don't own the game, but I played the demo. It's awesome. And Forza 2 is also awesome. It's this Forza is one of my favorite racing game franchises of all time. So you can't really compare the three. I I say you can't compare the three. You really can't. Because Need for Speed, Arcade, Gran Turismo, Sim. The other side, and then Forza is sort of in the middle. I guess you could compare Forza to Need for Speed or Forza to GT, but you can't. You actually can't really compare Forza to, to Need for Speed, really. You can only compare Forza to GT, and even that's really tricky because Grant Forza is not fully sim. So, figured I'd share that. Um, also, a couple franchises that I've played over the years, racing franchises that I love: Dirt, Dirt, and Dirt Two are the best racing rally games I've ever played. This is Colin McRae Rally Series. I played the old ones, and I didn't really... I, I couldn't really get into them that much. But I got into Dirt, the original Dirt. I loved that game. It was a, it was a great game. Great graphics, although there was some frame rate stutters. Great gameplay. There was an online... The online was a big disappointment. You couldn't play against... You know, you couldn't play against people on the same track blah 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 blah, blah. not going to go into too many too much detail but dirt 2 fixed the issues there were still one or two little minor glitches but overall great game that is a great game what else uh the toka series i own toka 3 it's one of the deepest racing games i've ever played in terms of the amount of stuff you can do in this game you can play, you can race rally cars, you can race, got touring cars, you can race F1 style cars, Formula 3 cars, you can race monster trucks for crying out loud. There's so much in this game, you have, you can't, you have to, you have to spend so many hours to explore it all. It's a hell of a lot of fun, it really is. Now there have been some a couple of crappy racing games. There's a lot more I could touch into, but I'm about to run out of time. There are a lot of crappy racing games I've played. Corvette, a blatant cash in. Obviously a blatant cash in. It's just it's stupid is what it is. I might do I don't know a review of it or something. And a couple of racing you know, there's a couple of uh, big rigs, obviously. You know, enough said about that. There's there's several that I don't have off the top of my head right now, but there's several racing games that I don't like, and there's several franchises that I do. So, just figured I'd uh, touch up on the subject, say that you really can't compare the two, special or compare the three racing games, Need for Speed, Gran Turismo, and Forza. Special shout out to Tom Dog. Great reviews, man. I hope you keep them up, man. I really hope you do. And I know it was a little bit long. I probably should have gotten straight to the point on this, but it's first take. What do you want? That's it. Peace.